Now the second tool that we will use, utilize a lot is a browser. You need a browser to test your website and also see the information coming in Google Analytics. Now there are different browsers out there. As you might be aware, there's Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari. I would recommend Chrome and it's more of a personal choice. The second choice would be probably Firefox. The other browsers are a little bit more limited in the extension functionality installing plugins, which is one big feature of Chrome and Firefox. So I would urge you to use Chrome or Firefox. Now Chrome is also a Google tool uh, made by Google. So it perfectly works together with certain features that I will present in the next chapters. So my recommendation to you is to use Chrome. Now let's go through some of the advantages. You might find these advantages also in other browsers. Um, but in this course, I will purely use Chrome. First advantage is that you can install extensions. So there's an extension store and we'll go through the plugins that you need to install in the next videos. But it's safe to say you can extend your Chrome and your capabilities of your browser to better serve the purpose of testing Google Analytics. Second big feature here in Chrome is the development toolbar. So you can access that by going to your view and then opening it up in the browser, which will give you this panel down here. It can do a lot of different things. I would encourage you to either try it out or do a little bit on, of a course on it. There's a great course by Code School, which is free, which will take you through all the different features. What we will use mostly here is this DOM element view and the console view. And we'll come to this in a second. But it's safe to say the developer tools that you get with Google Chrome are very powerful and we, will, we can perfectly use them to check our Google Analytics installation. Now the second advantage, which is really big when you are testing websites and look if the implementation of Google Analytics is done correctly, is the incognito browser mode. So if you go to file and open up a new incognito window, this will give you a clean slate, so to say, of your browser view. So you can really simulate a new user coming to the page without any caching and without any cookies that might be stored on the page. And once you close it and go back to your normal window, it will won't retain all these cookies and the cache that has been in there. So you can just open up a new one and can simulate a new user. And going back to the advantages, the third big advantage for me in Google Chrome is the user functionality. So up here, you can click a button, even in the menu bar, you will find people. And there you can put in different profiles of your Chrome browser. Now, why is this useful? If you have worked with Google products, you might know that it is a little bit tedious to log in or log out from an account. And if you have, for example, it's your client's Google Analytics account on a different Google Analytics user, you need to switch them very often. And what I do is just make up personas for my different purposes and input them as people within my browser. So I have all these different profiles that I use for my daily work. And once I click on a browser here, it will open up this browser for with different plugins installed. So it is a new set of browser basically, which can be really useful um, if you want to go into Google Analytics later and you find um, that you are already logged in with the appropriate new user name. So that's it with the features of Chrome. Obviously, you might have some of these capabilities in other browsers, and I would urge you to try it out. I can just say that a lot of people out there who are working with Google Analytics are using Chrome or Firefox. And now let's talk about all the features that you get when you want to extend your browser and which plugins are 
particularly helpful for us.